Hello, this is Jessica Fox from Florida Virtual Bookkeeper, and today I want to share with you another QuickBooks Online tip. If you are a service provider that keeps track of charges but only bills on a regular basis, this is for you. Let's say, for example, you are a freelance writer and you submit articles throughout the month, but you only bill for them once a month. You may be having to use a tool to keep track of what you submitted so that you remember what to bill. And sometimes you may worry about forgetting to build something because the note got lost or the system failed somewhere along the way. This is where the late charges in QuickBooks Online come in. This allows you to enter something that you are going to bill for, but you're not billing just yet. This way, you don't have to start an invoice that you may accidentally send early before you are ready to send or may accidentally get duplicated or have the wrong date or get your invoice numbering out of order. So I am going to show you how you can do this very quickly. So once again, with the example of a freelance writer, you submitted an article today on the 16th of the month. So we're going to click on plus new. And on the customer's column, we're going to click on the late charge. You will then select the customer. In this case, it's going to be Diego Rodriguez. You select a date for the charge. Normally, this would be the date that you did the work. But if you use a different system, it can be whatever you want it to be. And then you will select the service. Because this is a QuickBooks Online sample file, I'm just going to type hours because I know for sure that this is an option. In the description, you will want to enter whatever you want to show in the actual invoice. That way you only have to enter it once. You don't have to do it again at the end of the month. You're not going to have to remember at the end of the month or dig through your notes. So make sure that you type in what you want the invoice to say. Then you can select the quantity. Let's say it was five hours and it was $100 an hour. If you are tracking by class, location in QuickBooks Online or using job costing, you will have additional columns. Make sure that you fill those in depending on the needs of your business. You can add attachments, however you like. And then if this is the only one that you're creating, you will click on Save and Close. If you have others to create, you will click on Save and New. This is the only one I am creating right now, so I am just clicking Save and Close. And now let's fast forward in time and let's pretend that it's now the end of the month and I am ready to send Diego my invoice. I will click on plus new invoice. Then I will start typing my customer's name and this is where the magic happens. Once I select their name, I get this little pop-out drawer on the right side of the screen showing me that there is a charge that I created for this client. And then it's gonna give me the option to add it to the invoice. If I wanna know the details, I can click to open it. So you can have as many charges as you like in here. You can also, if you're billing my time, you can use billable time, you can add credits. This is all stuff that QuickBooks Online keeps track of for you. So that way, when the system determines that you're creating an invoice for that client, it will say, hey, don't forget to add this. Do you want to add it? So if you have a list, you can click on add all, or you can just click one at a time. So when I click add, as you see, it inserts it right on my invoice. I do not need to do anything else unless I need to make any changes. If you have anything else to add, you can add it. If not, it's ready for you to click save and send. So I hope that this tip is helpful. If you have any questions, I am only an email away. Support at floridavirtualbookkeeper.com. Have a great day.